In this video, I'm going to be going over the worst investment I've ever made. I hope you learned something valuable from this video and you can learn from my mistakes and I'm gonna break down the investment I made, the reasons why I made it, the emotions that were behind it, and we can break it down and so I don't make this mistake again and so you guys don't make this mistake again. Let's get into the video. If this video brings you value, please like for the whole of the YouTube algorithm and comment your thoughts below. What are some of the worst investments you guys have made or what are some of the best investments you guys have made? And subscribe for more awesome content on personal finance, savings, investing, economic and property news. Let's get into it. Okay, how do I begin? Well, it was 2017. It was a time when the economy was booming. The stock market was soaring. The property prices were booming. The sun was shining. You could go outside. You could do many things that we can't do today. Even talking about it, it makes me sad. It was so, it was 2017 when a news article popped up that I, when I was at work. And if you want to know what the news article was, Bitcoin passes the price of gold. And I thought, what? What is this Bitcoin? So I did some research and I found out that this was some um, online currency that's, um, uh, you know, guy that no one really knows that made it. And it was this way that, you know, people on the dark web or people online or geeks online were using, you know, to transfer currency uh, across the globe or also to purchase goods. Some said it was a store of value. Some says it was going to replace the current monetary system that we have in. There were many things that I learned about Bitcoin, the blockchain technology and how it's going to change the world. And I was intrigued. But I thought, what? It's gone from like $100 to $1,600. This must be a bubble. And I forgot about it for a little while until more articles kept coming. Bitcoin hits 2,000. Bitcoin hits 3,000. Bitcoin hits 4,000. And then the article that made me break. Bitcoin passes $5,000. I thought, what is this? No longer can Bitcoin be ignored. I must invest now. This is the opportunity of a lifetime, or so I thought. So I researched online on how to buy Bitcoin in Australia. I saw there was ways you can buy it online, but how I brought my first uh, bit of Bitcoin was actually at the local news agent. And I, so I put about $550 at first into Bitcoin, held it for a little while, and unfortunately, it kind of went nowhere for a, for a bit. And then something came up and I had to sell that Bitcoin. So I sold my Bitcoin. But Bitcoin will come back again to tempt me with its almighty gains in 2017. So after I sold it and after a few more months, then of course it skyrocketed again. And it went past $10,000. And I thought, ah, oh, I missed out. I shouldn't have sold. Um, and then I brought back in again which was my second mistake. And then so that started my journey. I had a new job, I was earning good money, there was lots of overtime, and I was pumping all my extra money I had into Bitcoin. And then I learned about something even more interesting and that had even more potential to make huge gains in a shorter amount of time. And this was to be to my demise. That is when I learned about altcoins. I started researching and learning about there's actually other cryptocurrencies besides Bitcoin, like Ethereum, Ripple, Cardano, Nero. And I was watching these other coins being pumped and some coins were going up 10 times in a week. Literally you put $10,000 in one of these coins and bam, in a week you've made $100,000. And so I was tempted and I sold my Bitcoins and then started investing into altcoins. And for those of you that aren't aware of cryptocurrency, altcoins are just a different kind of cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. They all have different things and they would literally come out with a website, make a website. They'd come out with something called a white paper where they'd say, this is our plan. You know, this is what we want to do. This is how we're going to change the world. There was like things like Bitcoin Cash. There was Litecoin, just other ways to transact cryptocurrencies. There was other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum where people can build other cryptocurrencies on it. And I started investing in those and I was putting everything I could for about three months and I was actually making some awesome gains at first. 
So I think um, after about a few months of investing, I had some of those altcoins were a success. I have some co coins that I invested in that went up five times in a week, like um, like Ripple and uh, XRP and um, you know a few other ones. And I was like, wow, I finally found it. This is the moment. Yes, I'm finally going to become a millionaire and drive all those Lamborghinis like all those other cryptocurrency investors are going to have. And then it happened. The early part of 2018 when cryptocurrency crashed and it crashed hard. I think I en ended up, the max my portfolio got was around $11,000. And then literally early 2018, I had all my money into the, all these altcoins, all these, you know, pretty much you could call them startup companies. Um, and it was just crashing by $1,000 pretty much every day. And do you want to know what ended up happening? What my investment ended up being after all that? Well, I thought, you know what? I've just got to, this is a long-term thing. I just got to hold it for the long term and everything will be all right. Because Bitcoin and um, altcoins at the time were very volatile. But unfortunately, everything wasn't going to be all right. After about six months of me holding on for dear life, something came up and I had to sell my beloved altcoins. And from my portfolio that went from $11,000, I think I ended up having to sell them for $2,500. So I pretty much lost everything. Um, and it was a very big learning lesson for me. And now I'm going to get in the lessons that I learned from getting involved in hype, getting involved in bubbles, FOMOing into markets. And I'm going to break it down, my emotions, the psychology going into it and how I've now learned this to avoid other bubbles that are happening right now. So the first thing I've learned is never invest in something purely because the price is going up. And there's things that's been happening recently which I felt that feeling that I felt like when I saw Bitcoin going up and all these altcoins. I've watched you know, the tech companies, you know, like um, Apple, Amazon, Tesla. Tesla's you know, doubled, tripled. Um, Australian company, uh, I think it's called Kogan, that's gone up nearly, you know, 400% in a few months. And I thought, oh, you know, I'm missing out. I got to get in. But if it was really such a great investment, I would have already invested in it. That's what I tell myself now. Don't invest in it purely because the price is going up. And it's never a good thing to invest when charts are going vertical like that. You want to be doing the opposite to what everyone is doing. And also, seeing other investments like silver. I made a video on silver um, about a week ago. Silver was going crazy. I already have a little bit of silver. And again, I got that FOMO feeling, oh, it's going up 7%. Oh no, it's, a, it's you know, it shouldn't get in now. And then it'll go up seven again the next day. And then seven again the next day. And then the FOMO got stronger. But I thought, no, this is what's happened before. Don't buy in now. Wait till it dies down. A pullback will come. And a pullback did come in silver. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna get in now, but that just goes to show opportunities will come and just don't get into an investment purely because the chart's going up. So the lessons I've learned is don't get your emotions, don't let your emotions get the most of you and don't invest in something purely because the price is going up. You want to invest in things that you believe in, you want to invest in things you understand and the best thing is you want to invest in them when it's not all the hype and the media isn't pushing it out. Kind of like gold. Gold has been getting now a lot of media attention because it's at all time highs. But that doesn't mean now is a good time to invest because it's at all time highs. You sh the best, the right time would have been to invest in gold three months ago when no one was really talking about it. And you may think, oh, I gotta get in now, but opportunities always will come. For example, the recent stock market crash that happened in March that wiped out four years of gains in about a month. So you might have been watching the stock market in 2017, 2018, going crazy, and you may have thought, oh, I gotta get in now, I'm, I'm never gonna get another opportunity, you know, it's just gonna keep going up forever. And lo and behold, you know, in uh, 2020, boom, it wiped out four years of gains in one month, and if you had a bit of cash, you could have got stocks on a great discount. Not only that, Bitcoin, like I was talking about before, it crashed significantly. And if instead of just getting into the altcoins, if I just invested in Bitcoin, actually would have been okay. It's gone up 300%. It 
even from the first time I started investing on it when it was around you know five thousand dollars and so I hope this guys this teaches you guys don't invest in things for emotional reasons because you fear of missing out do your research invest in something that you believe in when it's not all in the media when not everyone's talking about it when it's not the latest craze because always it turns out to be a bubble and it always will correct bubbles you know it will get a hype for a little bit everyone will be getting in but then eventually reality will wear in and then greed turns into fear very quickly so guys again if this video brought you value please like for the whole youtube algorithm and let me know if you like these casual videos where i just tell you about some stories because i do have a lot of the stories about investing personal finance property um, let me know if you want more of these types of videos and subscribe for more awesome content on personal finance, savings, investing, property and economic news. I'll see you in the next one.